I've been mulling over the often overlooked issues surrounding low blood pressure. So while we often worry about the long-term impacts of high blood pressure on our cardiovascular system, it's actually low blood pressure that can sneak up on us with immediate physical risks. So imagine the danger of fainting or falling resulting in broken bones or concussions. These are real concerns for a lot of people. And the two main groups that I see struggling with low blood pressure are one, young females, and this is often due to insufficient intake of iron-rich foods, protein, and electrolytes and they need, that they need to replace from physical activity and from their monthly cycle loss. Two, senior patients. Many seniors are often over-medicated for high blood pressure. There's too many doctors who mistakenly aim for very low readings, such as the classic 120 over 80 or less. But for many seniors, this is too low, and it makes them feel awful, tired, lightheaded. So interestingly, in the past, a blood pressure was considered to be 100 plus your age, meaning a 70-year-old would have a systolic blood pressure of 170, and that was considered normal. I find the middle ground to be the best. If the blood pressure is kept under 145, the long-term cardiovascular risks are minimized without making the patients feel lightheaded or dizzy. Most seniors, I find, feel best between 130 to 140. So balancing blood pressure is crucial for avoiding immediate dangers and the long-term health issues. I hope this was helpful. Doc Yates signing off.